Hi guys, it's Mr. Holding here and I've got Mr. Jarrett with me again who's kindly offered to help us um, explain some things about titration. Um, we're going to go through now very quickly how to prepare and clean um, the equipment. So because we're using such um, finite things and, and the, um, it relates, you know, we want to be specific as we can, we need to make sure that the equipment we're using is clean. So um, how do we do that, uh, Mr. Jarrett? Okay, so although the equipment generally is clean when it comes to you, you want to be sure about that. So what I normally do is uh, number one, make sure the tap's turned off. And I'll put water in first. So just tap water and give it a good wash. Now you can quickly fill it up. It doesn't take long. Now it's clean. No problem then to turn it upside down a couple of times. So we'll give it a wash like that. So it's had a good rinse. Uh, run run the liquid through for a while and then turn it upside down and quickly run the rest out. Turn the tap on and it drains very quickly. So I'll do that a couple of times just to make sure things are right. Do you, do you when you do that, do you rotate the burette as well? Um, well I suppose it depends on how much liquid's in there. If you've got a lot of liquid, you can get away without that. But yes, it's a good idea. You want to make sure you've had a good a good rinse. So that every surface on the inside is yes. being flushed. So thoroughly clean. And then you're right. So I'll use tap water a couple of times. And then the final rinse, I'll use distilled water. So your squirt bottle has distilled water. And the same thing with that. It's had a good run. Now, you want to uh, give that a good wash out because the problem is that uh, there are salts which can stay in there and they affect the tap. So once again it's had a good rinse and I'll run that out. And so now that's had two washes uh, and a wash with distilled water, so that's pretty right. That's ready for action now. So that's how we clean the burette. Um, before we obviously start, do we do that with, um, we also do that with the, the base that we're going to put in there, don't we? we, we rinse yes, that. so the first base you put in, you tip out, that's right. So put put in maybe half a, a burette full of base. Yep. Uh, again, don't use your finger. <laughs> that's when you need to just swirl around a bit, mm -hmm. run a bit through the tap, and then let the, the rest run out. So okay. that, that way you then can be pretty sure that you've, uh, you're ready for action. And it's clean. Mm. All right, so that's how to clean the burette. How do we then, um, do we do that with any of the other equipment as well? So we do that with the pipette as well? With the pipette. Now, to clean the pipette, Please, we, uh, once again, make sure that the pipette filler is put on uh, just sufficiently. Squeeze A to remove the air. And then we'll do this a couple of times. It can be done rather quickly. So it's just a matter of drawing the water up and then letting it run out by squeezing, squeezing the side arm. So I've noticed you're taking it from the clean beaker and you're putting it into a waste beaker. Yes. So that's important obviously as well, that you're not putting the dirty stuff back in, that's um, right. in where you're, getting, you're trying to clean with. And the same thing here, we'll do it a couple of times. It's nice and clean. And then, so I've given it a rinse like that twice with tap water. Clean tap water. Now when you get to the end, just let it touch the glass and it draws out the last little bit of water and it's designed to leave a tiny amount in there. That's just part of it. And to do a final rinse, I will then often run distilled water through it. And then I know it's clean. Now again, if I'm going to use this, uh, so seeing it's just been washed and there is water, it's clean water inside, uh, the first sample of, of uh, acid I take, I will let go down the sink. Okay. So I'll use the, the first sample to do a final rinse. So with both, with both cases, two, two sets with just tap water is fine, yes. then one with the sealed water, and then we want to do a flush out with whatever we're going to put in. So yes. in that case, it's the base in the, the experiment we're doing there. and the acid in there and then we go to actually do our experiment. But then we're right, that's right. right. We can be pretty sure that we've accurate, we're going to accurately transfer liquid from here on in. And so with regards to the conical flask, the last piece of glassware that we're going to use, that's just simply a flush. So um, Again, correcting, 
Go yeah, on around. Just give that a give that a wash. Give it a wash and a swirl, and then down the, the sink. down the tap. Would you do that three times? Uh, um, well, a couple of times, yes. Yep. So okay. I've washed that. So all your equipment's ready now to take the new chemicals, and um, you can start. So I've got everything in your favour. All right, fantastic. So that, that's the way we clean it. Um, thank you very much. I hope you find that helpful.